Hey YouTube, so today we're going to do a review of the AC750 Wi-Fi range extender and we're also going to show you how to install it. So the whole reason I bought this booster was because in my last video I was talking about cutting the cord and what I meant by that was getting rid of my satellite dish provider and using an, an antenna and a fire stick and if you don't know what a fire stick is this is a fire stick now you can get these off of amazon for about 39 dollars you can download cody on there and stream all your movies and television shows and music and all that good stuff but the problem was it was located about 20 feet away from my router that's in my office so once again i was having a lot of trouble with this Horrible, horrible lag. I would sit there and watch this thing spin for minutes upon minutes, loading, loading, loading. It was just driving me nuts. I would drop video, and I just wasn't able to really watch anything. So I went on YouTube, and I found a couple videos saying what you need is a booster. And so I went on Amazon, and I found the extender for about $29. And I'll tell you, as soon as I got it hooked up, I didn't have any more lag so I'm going to show you guys how to actually set this up and I'm hoping it works for you as good as it worked for me because I'll tell you what it's it's uh, it's really helped out not only just for the television but for my telephone when you know when I'm out in the garage it, it boosts the signal throughout the house the television upstairs I have another fire stick up there it's, it's just really worked miracles for me so all right let's get this started so the first thing you want to do when you're setting this up is bring the extender into the same room as your router and then you're going to plug it in. Okay, so they have to be close to each other for the initial setup. And then once the initial setup's done, you don't have to keep them in the same room anymore. Now, once you have this plugged into the outlet next to the router, you want to make sure that the green arrow light turns on next to the power. So once that's on, you're ready for the next step. So now it's time to hook up the actual extender to your Wi-Fi. Now I'm using a Linksys Cisco router, so it might be a little bit different than what you're using. But let's hook this up to the actual router itself. Okay, so go ahead and click the WPS, that's Wi-Fi Protected Setup button, on the side of the booster. And once you do that, it's going to start blinking. When it starts blinking, that means you have about two minutes to actually get this process done. So once that starts blinking, go to your Wi-Fi router. And I, once again, use a Linksys. So I will hit this button here. And that's the little blue button. So once again, you're going to press the WPS. It's going to start blinking. You're going to come over here on the back of your router. And, and your router might be different, but I guarantee you have one of these. You're just going to click the setup button. And they're going to connect. And within probably five seconds, you're going to wait for that WPS button on the, on the extender to go solid green. Now, that being said, this is for the first station. There's, there's usually two stations on your routers. There's a 2.4 and then there's a 5 uh, gig, gigahertz. So what you're going to want to do is do this twice, right? So you want to set up both stations. If your router doesn't have the 5 gigahertz, then it's not going to work for you. But most do. And this is what you're going to watch your movies and stream your games and all that on. So once you do that the first time, you're going to do it the second time. Do the exact same step. Go over, hit the WPS triangle button on the side. Give it a couple seconds to start blinking. And then go over there and hit the setup button on the back of your router again. And then after it sets up in about 5 to 10 seconds it'll turn a solid green again. So now when you go into your router settings, <clears throat> excuse me, you're gonna see the new EX3700 online. And what I do is actually try to prioritize that. I'll actually put that on the top of the list right here. Right at the top, the EX3700. What that's gonna do is allow the router to give the booster priority over your phone, your iPad, and so on. So it's going to send a stronger signal to the actual booster, which is fine because that's probably what you're going to use your devices on now anyway. 
So now your setup is pretty much complete when it comes to the computer and your Wi-Fi and your booster being connected to each other. Now what you want to do is actually take the booster out of the room that your router's in because you don't want them in the same room. It kind of defeats the purpose of having it. And you're going to put this in a room or an area that uh, is between the device that you want to connect and the router itself. So take the booster and what I did was I put it in my kitchen area. So that was halfway between where my router was in the office and my my fire stick was on the television in the living room and what that does is it picks up the signal from the router and then it boosts it and allows a greater signal in the actual living room so here comes the cool part so I pulled up my fire stick and you can see I have my network that I always use before I had the booster it was Milliken 5G and that's what I tried to run my movies off of you always want to try to run your movies off of the 5 gigahertz instead of the 2.4 gigahertz because most of your electronics, such as your phone, <clears throat> excuse me, your phone and your tablets and, and every other thing uh, that you run, garage doors, you know, even your neighbors can interfere with your 2.4 channel. I always try to stream off of the 5 gigahertz because it's interrupt, non-interrupted. So there's not a lot of other signals trying to pick up on that and it always seems to work better. But if you look at the top here, you can see I only had three bars. What you're going to notice when you hook this up is now you're going to have two extra networks. So you can see the Millican 5G, 2G EXT. Really what it's just going to come up is just going to put up the 2G XT. You're actually going to have to change the name on that if you want. And then you're going to have the 2G XT. And that is your 2.4. The 5G XT is your, your 5 gigahertz. And what you're going to be able to do now is stream off of those two networks. So you also have the original router that you'll be able to connect to or the booster so now I have four stations instead of two so the other thing I want to point out is if you look at the Millican 5G up on top it only had the three bars look at the 5G on the bottom that's from the booster I now have four bars on my Wi-Fi which really makes a difference when you're streaming movies or playing games so right away as soon as I hooked this thing up, I was able to stream and I had no more lag. I was able to get my my movies and my television shows downloaded so much faster. It was unbelievable. So remember, you're going to have the original two Wi-Fi networks that you already have with your router. And then once you set this booster up, you're going to have an extra two networks to hook up to. And that is the 2GXT and the 5GXT. If you're closer to the booster and you're using your phone, I would hook up to the 2GXT. If you're using a Fire Stick or some other type of streaming device, use the 5GXT. And I just wanted to make sure that you understood what all these lights mean on, the, on this here. So remember the WPS, that's what's gonna help you hook it up. The power button, obviously. The router, when that light's green, that means you are connected to the router. And then the green light over the device means that you are actually connected to the device that you were trying to boost. So for the review part of this, let's actually take a look at it a little bit closer. <clears throat> what you're gonna get in the box is the actual booster itself and a set of instructions, and that's it. So you're gonna have some antennas that are actually built into this so you're not able to remove them but once again just plug it in and go it's small it's not heavy it doesn't take up a lot of room if you plug it into a double outlet you're still gonna have room for another device to plug in the directions are pretty straightforward if you have some know-how or tech when it comes to uh, computers you're gonna be able to do this no problem I don't see any issues with anybody trying to hook this up I think the directions were written pretty well. Once again, the antennas are movable, so you're gonna be able to adjust signal strength if you need to, and it doesn't take much. This does have a USB port on the side if you wanted to plug it in, but there's really no need. If you're using an existing router, you're gonna use the Wi-Fi off of that, and you're really not gonna to have to use one of those cords. This right here is on the side. Once again, there's your UPS and your on and off. So you're going to need to know where those are at to set this up. Now, we just looked at the AC750, but Netgear also has the N300 and the AC1200. That being said, if you're looking to stream video or play games off of this, 
I would not get the N300 because it only comes with the 2.4 gigahertz channel. It does not come with the 5. So, the AC750 and up should be fine to stream movies, play video games, download music, and so on. But all in all, the 750's light is pretty simple to install. It doesn't take up much room and it works well. I was never able to get the signal that I was on my television like I am now. So if I give this a rating between one star and five star, the one being the worst and the five being best, I absolutely give it a five star. It's cheap. It's only around $29. It, it got to me within two days on Amazon and it just works well. So if you're having problems like I did, you know, streaming movies. I really think this is going to work for you. I hope this video helps you. And if it does, please thumbs up and subscribe. And I look forward to showing you more videos in the future.